I'm Amy Gardner, national political reporter for The Washington Post here in Charlotte, North Carolina, where the Democratic National Convention kicks off today. There's been a lot of talk this summer about the tension between the Obama campaign and organized labor. Labor is a key part of the Democratic base, and there's been some tension between those two factions. The labor, some of the labor unions were not happy that the convention was cited in Charlotte in a right-to-work state without union hotels and restaurants. Uh, and so there was a question of whether that uh, disagreement would translate into a lack of enthusiasm uh, here in Charlotte this week. Uh, we're not seeing that. that. As an SEIU member, as a Latino, as a veteran, we are all in it to elect President Obama. There are hundreds of delegates and activists milling about all over the place in Charlotte who are rank and file members of organized labor. And even the leaders of the unions who have expressed uh, upset about uh, you know, some of the decisions of the Democratic National Committee and the Obama administration say they're committed to helping President Obama win this fall and are going to help organize in states around the country. We're not going backwards, we're moving forward. That's why I'm running for re-election. One reason why we're watching closely to see what enthusiasm looks like here and watching the labor movement, for instance, to see how enthusiastic rank and file labor looks is because there's a deep question overall about whether President Obama can generate the same level of enthusiasm as he did in 2008 when he ran a campaign on, of course, those catchwords, hope and change, great deal of optimism. He was an, a lesser known person and hugely popular. This year, the circumstances are entirely different. The economy is still struggling. People feel much less optimistic. And so there remains this deep question of whether he can generate the same uh, enthusiasm overall as he did four years ago.